This video is a guide to reviewing Autodesk Validation Tool or VDT reports within Revit using the BIM Interoperability Model Checker Tool. For information about running checks in Model Checker or VDT, please refer to the corresponding video. To open the Model Checker within Revit, I will simply go up to the Interoperability Tools tab and then check on View Reports. If the model is not saved in BIM 360 or ACC, there's hardly any change to this interface. On the left, you will see some new tools. You'll be able to change between the local report, the one that Model Checker does, you could load in an AVT file, or you can see the validation tool reports. If I view the local report, it will give me a summary of when the last report was run. I can either pick on the name to see a quick review of the report, or I can pick on the icon in the upper, upper right hand corner to open the report in a new window. When I open the report in a new window, it does allow me to copy, save it as an HTML file or an Excel file. If the model has been saved to BIM 360 or ACC and the validation tool has been run on it, I can then pick on the validation tool cloud icon to see the reports that the validation tool has, has conducted. Here I will see all the reports that have been run. If I'd like to view one of these, I simply can come down and pick on the open icon. It will open the report in a new window. In this window, similar to the model checker report, I can either copy, save it as an HTML file, or save it as an Excel file. I can also choose to import this report and save it to the current local report. If I do this, just want to remind you that this will save it to this Revit model, but this is not necessarily the report on the current model. This is a report that was on the last published model that was published to the ACC. But this will replace the local report with the one that the validation tool has conducted. 